Hi there guys, lovely to be with you all again today, it's Thursday, it's the 12th of January, it's lovely and sunny and mild outside, hope you're having a good day, or it'll be evening now probably by the time you're watching this, so hope you've had a good day and that you'll have a good evening as well. Thanks for joining us, thanks for all your wee emails, thanks for all your wee comments yesterday, our wee message that you don't have to give in to sexual pressure seemed to be very helpful thanks to those of you who wrote in and said you were helped by it remember guys you're not being weird when you say no to sexual pressure that you're not comfortable with and the bible does say that it's wrong to have sex just casually we should keep it for our marriage partner. Of course that's not very popular today but thanks to those of you who were helped and you're not being weird remember that you're just being sensible and you're doing the right thing when you say no to sexual pressure that you're not comfortable with. Hey we've got a lovely verse today John chapter 8 and verse 12 Jesus said I am the light of the world Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus is the light of the world. I've got a wee picture for you, just coming up on your screen. It's a lovely painting by William Holman Hunt. Back in the 19th century, he was the leader of the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. You can see this painting today hanging in St. Paul's Cathedral and it's called the light of the world and it's a beautiful picture of what to illustrate what Jesus is telling us here I am the light of the world you'll notice in the picture that there's a door and it's all overgrown and there's a man and of course it's Jesus because he has the crown of thorns and he's standing knocking knocking on the door and he has the light, he has the lantern. And of course it suggests that inside that wee house that's all shut and overgrown, inside there's just darkness. And that depicts, it depicts the door of your heart, it depicts the life of the non-Christian. The one who is sitting in darkness and fear and depression and in death itself, needing the light. And Jesus comes and he knocks. You'll notice there's no handle on the door. The handle's on the inside because you need to be willing to let Jesus in. He's too much of a gentleman to try and force his way into someone's life. But he comes and he knocks. There's a wee verse in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20 where Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and have supper with him. Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart, on the door of your life today, and he wants to come in. But he waits patiently till you open the door. A lot of people are afraid to open up to Jesus. A lot of people prefer the darkness rather than the light because their deeds are evil the Bible says and you know we need to be willing to come to the light if we're going to be set free if we're going to be delivered if we're going to have life with a capital L we need Jesus hey guys have you ever opened up your heart to him can you say honestly and sincerely today Jesus is in my heart he's in my life and his light and his love and his peace and his joy are shining through and are flowing through me out into my community, into my family, into my school, into my workplace, wherever it might be, into my world. Hey Jesus, he wants to come in and he wants to do something in your life and then he wants to shine out of you into this dark and needy world. I am the light of the world, says Jesus. Hey guys, there's no other light. There's no other way to be delivered, to be rescued, 
to be saved. Jesus is the only light. He's the true light that has come into the world. Remember at Christmas time when the star guided the wise men, there was the great light in the sky shining, the angels brightly shining, the multitudes in the sky praising God, appearing to the shepherds, great light shining because the light was coming into the world. The one who could open the eyes of the blind man and give him light. He wants to open up the eyes of your heart and give you light and give you life today. But it's up to you. The choice is yours. You can remain with the door shut. Jesus will knock. He'll keep on knocking. He's maybe been knocking for many years and you've said no. You've heard him calling you but you've said no. Maybe he'll knock for another year. Maybe he'll knock for 20 years. Maybe this is the last time you'll hear the knock. We don't know. Life is so uncertain. Even when we're young, as we've seen over Christmas, life can suddenly be taken from us. So don't put it off. If you hear Jesus knocking today, open up the door, because tomorrow might be too late. Trixie and I love you all very, very much. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for all your wee messages. But remember this. Jesus is the one. He's the light of the world. Let him shine in your life today. Just open up the door. How do you do that? Just pray to him and say, Lord, I open up the door of my heart. Come in and shine your light and have supper with me and make me yours forever. God bless you guys. Have a nice evening. See you tomorrow.